Hey guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics. Welcome to our second new product video update. We've got a few exciting products to announce today, including a set of uh, aluminum end caps for our four inch series watertight enclosure, um, an awesome attachment for testing the watertight enclosures, um, a, an O-ring pick, and um, a few minor updates to our enclosure vent and our blank penetrators, cable penetrators. Our four inch series enclosure normally comes with laser cut end caps, uh, like this clear one on the front and this 10 hold end cap on the back. Uh, those are cool because you can actually make your own custom end caps with laser cutting. Uh, but we now have uh, two end caps available in black anodized aluminum. Uh, we've got one here with 10 holes and we've got one uh, that is just solid. Uh, these are great, they're much easier to machine if you're interested in drilling your own holes in the end caps or tapping any holes in the end caps. Uh, these work out great. They're a little thinner, but they're really strong, so they actually have a better depth rating than the clear end caps. Up next, we've got a really cool part for vacuum testing all of our watertight enclosures. This new part, called the vacuum plug, has a barb on one end, which attaches to a standard uh, hand-operated vacuum pump like this one. Um, and on the other end, it fits into our enclosure uh, vent plug, replacing the plug that normally keeps that closed. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I'll show you how this works real fast. First of all, we've got this on a hand-operated vacuum pump. You can usually find these at automotive stores or online. Uh, they're used for brake bleeding and other vacuum pump applications. On the other end of this, I've got one of the vacuum pumps uh, with O-rings installed. I've got a two-inch enclosure here, and I'm going to start by removing the, uh, the plug that is currently keeping it sealed. Pop in the, uh, the vacuum plug attachment. And then as we pump this, we're going to be bringing this enclosure to vacuum, so removing air and decreasing the pressure inside, which basically simulates what it's like to be under a few meters of water pressure in the water. Um, by doing this, we can test, uh, make sure that the seals are not leaking, that there's no hair or dirt or dust particles in the seals, um, and we can be much more confident that it's going to work well in the water. After a few pumps, the pressure is brought up, and we're just going to monitor this for a few minutes and make sure that it doesn't, uh, doesn't increase in pressure or lose vacuum which would indicate a leak. Uh, as soon as we're done and we've tested that, we just pull out the plug, replace it with the, uh, the original plug that keeps it sealed up, and it's ready to get wet. Many of our products, like our watertight enclosures, have O-ring seals. When it comes time to replace these seals, the O-rings can be a little difficult to remove, and if you stick a sharp metal object into the O-ring uh, gland, you can end up damaging the, the aluminum and compromising the integrity of the seal. We've got another new product here, a plastic O-ring pick that is specifically meant for removing O-rings like this very easily without damaging the metal that they're part of. Uh, these picks work great for all of our products um, and for just about any O-ring. To wrap things up today, we've got some minor updates to the blank cable penetrator as well as the enclosure vent. Both of these parts now have captive O-ring seals underneath the head of the bolt. Um, and wrench flats on the head of the bolt to make them a little easier to tighten. Uh, both of these improvements make them easier to use and improve performance a little bit. That's all we've got for you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.